What's going on everyone, Gilman with Live All These Stocks back with another video today taking a look at why Netflix stock is up huge after hours. As of the time of this video, it's up $63, which is 12% after hours. So we'll take a look at their earnings real quick, just kind of some baseline stuff. The reason why it is up that much in the after hours and what that means for the stock moving forward. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on Netflix are. And I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me hit record. We will get right into it. As you can see, um, you know, Netflix closed above 500 today. It's kind of been struggling lately, doing a whole lot of nothing, um, not a lot of movement, um, but we are up $62 after hours and 12% after hours, which is crazy. Um, so we'll take a look at why, we'll come back, take a look at the stock price, stock action, and what the future levels of support and resistance could look like. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, they reported earnings, so let's take a look at some of those numbers real quick. Um, they were actually really good, right? So if we take a look at their revenue, they had $6.64 billion in revenue versus the $6.63 billion that people expected. So that's good, 0.01 billion more than expected. Earnings per share, now this is kind of where, um, you know, they didn't hit the mark, they were down 17 cents. The expected earnings per share was $1.36. Their actual EPS was $1.19. But there was some other news that was, um, you know, overtaking that, and that was this number. They were expected to add 6 million users. They actually added more than 8.5 million users, right? So. They, they, they were able to add all in all about 37 million paid subscribers in 2020 and achieve $25 billion in annual revenue, a 24% year over year increase. Now, a lot of that is attributed to COVID-19, right? As more people stay at home and you know don't have things to do, they're more likely to go online. Streaming services are really easy to kind of spend time on when you're home and you wanna watch movies or TV shows. So a lot of this was definitely aided by the coronavirus pandemic, um, including myself, right? I didn't have a Netflix account before and um, did during the COVID pandemic and probably will continue to now. So all they need to do really for a lot of these cases is convert people over and then they'll continue paying month after month, right? So this is great. Um, you know, if we take a look at what's happened in previous earnings, um, We've seen kind of not crazy gap ups, and so this is this is a this is a welcome um, kind of push for the stock. Now, another reason that they are up besides this is because they also mentioned so a lot of a lot of the the stock um, earnings reports right has to do with what the stock did in the previous quarter. But more than that, what investors really want to know is well, what is this company going to do in the future, right? Sure, it's great that Netflix had X amount of revenue and X amount of EPS and X amount of growth subscribers, but if Netflix executives were to come out and say, yeah, we added this 8 million instead of the 6 million users you were expecting, but we were expecting a decline in growth for 2021, that's more likely to put, push the stock price down. But you know, Netflix case, it's a little bit different than that. So. They said that they will be cash flow positive in 2021 and around break even with cash flow this year, which is something that Netflix has not had since 20, I think 2011. Um, they said they won't need any outside fin financing after borrowing $15 billion since 2011. So if you guys know Netflix's strategy, they've been spending a lot of money on kind of in-house productions, Netflix originals, shows and movies. Um, so it's, it's crazy to, to know that they won't be needing financing there. And then uh, they're considering share buybacks, which again, they haven't done since 2011. Um, they're, you know, this, this is all great because they, it really validates kind of Netflix's strategy of of spending on their own content. Yes, they have a lot of content developed by outsiders, but their their main kind of bread and butter that they've been striving for is to have their own content, those exclusives that you need a Netflix account to watch. Um, so that's what that, that's what this is talking about here, right? We've already covered the EPS. We're talking. This article talks a little bit more about you know Netflix and how it's grown. So if you want to um, you know read more about it, feel free to. But it's crazy that you know Netflix has burned more cash every year since 2013, and now they are talking about being cash flow positive, right? So great, great news for the stock. Um, 
If you take a look here, we set a all time high um, of 575 earlier in um, kind of July 2020. Then it kind of sold off. Let me get rid of this indicator here. Then it sold off to kind of the 460s, pushed up, couldn't quite make it to the all time high, came down, pushed up again. Um, and then th that time getting a high of 572, so missing the all time high by $3. And here we are now at $564 in the after hours, making a potential run at that all time high again. So what, what are our future levels of you know, support and resistance moving up? Where do, you, where do we think the stock could run? Well, we are talking about you know, $564. So if I take a look and I just draw a horizontal line, again, this is as of 4 p.m. Um, central time right so if i draw a line here at 564 what we'll see is you know there aren't that many points for the stock that are higher than where we are right now right which is kind of crazy to think about how much of a push it's having in the after hours but if you take a look here you know the next level i think it, it's going for would be this 572 um which we met here back in on uh back in october 2020 october tw october 14th 2020 if we can get past this 572, then 575 is next. You know, it's it'll be really interesting to see if this move sustains um, in the in the pre market as well, or if we see a little bit of a sell off. You know, I would not be surprised if we see a little bit of a push up followed by a sell off as people kind of lock in those profits. Um, but you know, a lot of a lot of investors might be looking to get on board with Netflix now that it is talking about being cash flow even and cash flow positive this year and next year respectively, as well as the number of subscribers that they have added. Now, I do believe that once you know the pandemic ends, people start going out again, they won't see the growth that they've seen in 2020, but I think you know people will continue to get Netflix. I do think that the, the people that they already have, that revenue will most likely continue, right? I don't think a lot of people would just stop paying the 10, 11, $12 a month once they do start going out of the house again because once you have it, I think it's hard to let go. So it'll be really interesting to see how Netflix holds up. Um, I would, again, not be would not be surprised if we see a little bit of profit taking, but at the same time, we're so close to all time highs that I would um, you know, not be surprised if we knock that out you know, in the next couple of days as well. So 571 is the next point, and then we've got this 575 all time highs that we set um, in 2020. So, that's what I'm looking out for. I don't currently have any Netflix stock. I don't currently have any um, options other than a vertical put spread that I'll be looking to close out tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much my only position and then see kind of how it trades. If I see another push up, I might hop on a quick call to ride its all time highs. If I see it selling off, I might jump on a quick put um, as it kind of rides down with the profit taking that's expected tomorrow morning. Um, so either way, you know, basing more of my trade on momentum for the time being as it settles down and finds another base so then I can um, potentially go in with different positions. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and all the support you've shown me. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.